So today I just made a very simple um, trans impedance amplifier for a uh, photodiode uh, circuit I was playing with. Um, the photodiode I'm using is a BPW34 and I've just slapped that on an LM741 uh, so about as generic as you can kind of get in terms of uh, op amps. Um, and uh, like I say I used the trans impedance uh, amplifier uh, to amplify the current coming from the photodiode. So when you kind of shine uh, light on a photodiode, it actually produces electricity. It's basically a kind of photocell. Um, so you detect that that generated electricity. Now you could, you know, detect the the voltage on the pho photodiode, but as I understand it, that's not very linear. So it doesn't vary linearly with the amount of light on the on the diode. Um, so what people tend to do is look at the amount of current um, that is generated by the photodiode. Um, and the typical way of doing this is using a what is called a trans impedance amplifier to amplify these very low currents and turn them into a voltage. So they're also called current to voltage converters. And they're used for a bunch of different applications. They're used in uh, scanning tunneling microscopy um, to uh, amplify uh, kind of nanoamp uh, level currents into a signal uh, for kind of processing into uh, images um, and as I say they're also used in these kind of uh, photodiode applications um, and they're used in for example you find them in x-ray scanners um, where they're used uh, to detect the signals from photodiodes in a scintillator so the x-rays will make a, a make a, a material called a scintillator kind of flash um, and light up in the visible spectrum the photodiode will pick that up and that's that's how an x-ray scanner kind of works um, so the circuit is very very simple um, it's just basically an op amp with a large feedback resistor and the photodiode kind of also heads into that point so as you know, you know, kind of op amps, one of the golden rules of op amps is they try and keep their inputs the same. So the positive input here is grounded and the negative input goes to the photodiode. So what happens is that when you get current produced uh, by the photodiode, um, it goes into the negative input and that makes the, the uh, output um, swing in the opposite direction to counteract that. Um, so it produces a current going through the feedback resistor. And, you know, you're used to thinking of op amps in terms of voltage, but really in this sense it's, it's much easier to think of it in terms of current. So it produces a current through the feedback resistor to exactly counteract the current produced by the um, photodiode, so this point becomes zero. And the amount of voltage re required to produce that that current is your output. Um, so it's very very simple. So I made up this uh, basic uh, photodiode amplifier uh, uh, trans impedance uh, amplifier circuit today um, and obviously with, uh, with uh, op amps you need like you need a positive and a negative rail so you need a ground and then like plus in this case 9 volts and minus 9 volts and you can do that if you've got a either a couple of bench supplies, isolated bench supplies, or a um, a bench supply that will produce positive and negative um, voltages. Um, but if you don't, uh, a nice easy way to do it is use two nine volt batteries, and then um, just kind of split uh, split them. So you have two batteries, and then you set this as your ground point. And then this is your plus nine uh, and your minus nine. I'm not, I'm not sure if I've got that the right way around, but you get the idea. Um, so this becomes your ground point, and then you have uh, uh, positive and negative um, rails. So that's what I've done here. Um, I'm using a 100k uh, feedback resistor, which seems to work reasonably well with um, quite bright uh, lights. So if I just try that out, I can see this easily on my scope. Um, and let's try and uh, show you as I shine it. Oops. Hopefully, 
so I'm just waving uh, a torch over it now and you can see it hitting hitting the rails um, so yeah uh, 100 hundred uh, k resistor seems to be working uh, pretty well uh, in this circuit um, and uh, yeah that's my just my initial playing around with uh, photodiode uh, trans impedance amplifiers.